Okay, welcome back to part two. We're going to go ahead and do a lot of copying, a lot of polyline creation to create this 3D guitar. And to get started, we need to actually cut this out so we have a faceplate for our guitar. So what I'd like you to do is use the copy tool, C-O-P-Y, enter. I want you to click on this portion as well as the circle, enter. And I want you to use this as a reference and drag it out so that the faceplate of the guitar is over here. I'm going to put down one copy, press escape a few times, and then we're going to extrude out this guitar into, let's say, I think three portions. So I'm going to use extrude, enter, and I'm going to start with the outer ring, enter, and I'm going to go down three units. Next I'll do the inner ring, enter, and I'll go down 2.8 units. And lastly, I'll do this circle. And we'll go down, I guess, two units. So we have the three portions of the guitar. Now let's shell it out. So use the subtract command. We're going to subtract the outer, enter, from the inner, enter. So that if you took a look at the realistic, you're going to notice that it's been shelled out. Now we probably also want to get rid of that circle. So let's go back to 2D wireframe and use the subtract tool again. And this time I'm going to go for them like the, the outside. So over here is fine. Enter to this. Enter. So that's been removed. But don't worry, it's still on the faceplate. So with the faceplate, let's go ahead and while we have it here, use the subtract command to subtract the outer, enter, from the inner. So it's been cut out. Next, let's extrude out this outer portion. We're going to go down a really small amount, just 0.2, so that it's symmetrical with the bottom. And now this is the face plate of the guitar. And looking at the top view, I'm going to press escape a few times, select it, whoops, actually let me just use the move tool, move, enter, and select this, enter, and I'll use the bottom, like the center of the bottom as my reference, I'm trying to get it, perfect, and move it over to the center of the bottom over here, perfect. And if you did that correctly, and you look at it, realistic, you should notice that you can see like inside the guitar because that's what we did. We hollowed it out, we created a faceplate, and we designed that guitar. Okay, cool. Back in 2D wireframe, let's extrude out this portion over here. So let's do this in two extrusions. Extrusion one will be the outside. Let's go up 0.5 units. Extrusion two will be the inside, and this will go out 0.8 units, and then let's fillet the entire thing. So FIL for fillet, enter, then type in R, enter, and then type in a radius amount, so we'll say 0.2, enter, and then I'm going to kind of click on the object and then I'm going to click on like the secondary edge. So that was one edge I clicked, I believe. And maybe I have to hit enter. And then it lets me click on the second one. Enter. Perfect. And next I'll do the same for this portion. So click on that. Enter. Or whoops, R. Enter. Point two. Enter. And then click on this and then enter and then click on the other one enter okay so that was a few enters but if you did it correctly you'll have a filleted portion where the strings will go okay that's looking awesome next let's go ahead and finish the rest of this handle so that's kind of where these copies are gonna come in let me look at here and right now they're not actually anything so you can kinda of see like the lines aren't connected so there's a few things we're gonna want to do Let's go ahead and get started by deleting these lines that are only going to kind of like interfere with this process and then redraw them using the line tool such that they actually connect. So that was actually a very 
crude example. Let me try that one more time. Okay, that was the first one. And the second one will be, I am just not drawing lines right today. Perfect. We'll be like that. And there's actually two portions to this, so I'm going to use a line, enter, and then draw the line out like here, like that. And we're going to move the line upward, so I'm going to use the edge as a reference, one unit. This is kind of where the, uh, the notes go, so this is a portion of the note control. So while it's like this, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to move it, probably right over here for now. Then I'm going to delete this portion. I'm going to use P edit, P edit, enter, and I'm going to click on one portion of this line, hit enter, join, and then join it with the other like three portions. So I selected them all and I've combined them all into a polyline. So this is now one object. Over here, I am going to use the trim tool, trim, enter, and I'm going to select the whole thing, but then kind of remove the top of it as well as the bottom. Trim again. So that we're left with just this portion, and I will delete this up here. And is this, okay, we need to turn this into a polyline also, so P edit, click on one of these, enter, join, and then with these three. Okay, so yeah, that's a lot of work, but it will pay off in the end. And what else do we need? We also need to kind of turn this into a polyline. So I'm going to use trim, select this, enter, get rid of the circle on the bottom, use P edit, and I'm going to connect this one with the other portions of this line so that they're all connected. So this handlebar is going to connect this to this to this and then we're going to put it on the guitar. So it's a lot of portions. But let's get started. I'm going to rotate my screen. Each of these has a different extrusion amount. This first one, EXT, we're going to extrude it downward a total of 0.7 units. The next one we're going to extrude, oops, EXT, extrude this one downward, okay, cannot self intersect, oh, okay, there was a little uh, portion of the line, I'm not sure if you can see it, but something as small as that will influence whether or not you can extrude it. So that's troubleshooting 101. Now we should be able to extrude this down three units. And lastly, this portion up here, we are going to extrude that upward 0.3 units. Okay, so we have the three portions of our guitar. Let's go ahead and try to get these together together real quick. So I'm looking at it from the top view and actually let me rotate it to the bottom. I'm going to use the move tool, enter. I'm going to select this object, enter, and I'm going to click on this edge. I'm going to connect it to this edge like that. With those two selected, I'm going to kind of like rotate it and select these two. I'm going to use the move tool again, enter. And now I'm going to say this top, I guess, enter has to, whoop, it, it jumped pretty far. <laughs> ah, I'm so close. Let's try one more time. Move. Select this, enter, and then I'm going to click here to this one. Okay, cool. And it gets over there. And we just need to hook this to our guitar, but I'm almost at my 10 minute limit. So I will do that at the start of the third video. Guys, I will see you then. Peace out.